What's cracking with your snack and snacker stars? It's Brandon from the SAS the Snack Food Appreciation Society with another edition of Snack Breeze. I am alongside Hugh Wilmahoney. Snack time, pally, happy Valentine's Day, Schmalentine's Day. I tell you, love is in the air this year, and sweet things are the treats we want to eat. That's mm. right. Do you have a special Valentine? They might want some candy. <laughs> candy, you say? Candy. <laughs> candy makes you dandy. Oh. And that candy might be the milk chocolate cherry M&M's. Oh, getting tart-like here. That's right. Ooh. You got a uh, red the M&M there with an arrow, although the arrow has an M&M on the end of it there. Oh, yes. That's not going to work too well. That's going to bounce off you. Yeah. Man. Leave a little chocolate smudge on you. Mm. Yeah, you don't want that. But visit m and .com for more information. Oh, there you go. Now, here's the thing. We thought we did these. Yeah. We thought we did. Did we? We might have. I don't know. We checked the archives. You know what I found? Last year we did uh, the chocolate aisles. That's the right. red chocolate chocolate aisles. The year before for Valentine's Day, we did the red velvet M&Ms. That's right. Not cherry. And we and did those apple ones too. Candy apple ones, which had a very similar packaging. Yeah. But I could not find anything for cherry M&Ms, though apparently these have existed for a few years. Have we missed these? Do you remember something we don't? We're doing it anyway. We don't know. We looked it up, couldn't find it. Who knows? So we're doing it, darn it. That's how it is. Maybe I misspelled M&M's. I don't know. <laughs> we did M&M's. M&M's yeah. is what we did instead. I guess we'll open it this way because I don't want to yank the whole bag open. There you go. That would, that would make a great outtake. It would. All right. Or are they like, the Fathoms? Oh, they are yes, the they Fathoms. Are. Uh, squat, little round, fatter versions of yes. the M&M's. The kinds we've had recently with the... The melt the hot cocoa ones. That's right, and they are a light red and kind of a burgundy color, sort of like the Redskins yep. uniforms. Kind of going with the the Valentine's motif on them. I mean, they, these were in Target in the Valentine's section. They have the hearts on them. Yeah. So this is the definite M and M's branding for Valentine's Day. Very chocolatey smelling. I don't... Kind of a cor chocolate cordial yeah. kind of smell. Yeah. And you know what? I think they had. It was called Cherry Cordial M&M's before. I mean, it's starting to ring in my head Maybe a little bit. they just changed the name on them. Yeah. Either way, though, Cherry, I checked the archives. It doesn't come up. Yeah, I, I just so, put M&M's. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Uh, We're doing it anyway. Let us know. Yeah. If we did it, then that's a redo. There you go. Screw it. Uh, mm. They are fathoms. Mm. I've had these. Yeah, I have too. I remember the. I remember. I think you wrote the cordial deal. Yeah. Chocolate cherry. Mm -hmm. Chocolate covered cherry is exactly what I'm getting, minus the goo. Yeah, it's not that wet, gooey cherry that you get in there. And sometimes, if you buy the good ones that have the liquor in them too, those are uh -huh. nice. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what it is, though. Except with a crunchy M and M's sour shell. Yeah. And that said, they're very good. Oh, absolutely. These are um. I would describe them as decadent. Mm -hmm. I would describe these as a luscious. Mm -hmm. I would describe these as a great Valentine's treat. These are quite nice. But, yeah, they, there's something happened. There was some sort of rebranding. We've definitely had these before. They're definitely something I've had, but I don't mind having them again because I like them. You know what? We're going back to an ex-girlfriend for Valentine's Day. Oh. That's exactly what's going on here. Don't oh. let Miss Zeal know! I'm not, I'm not <laughs> doing that. Oh, no, not especially after who contacted me recently. <laughs> trouble, trouble, trouble. Anyway, mm. uh, that's a whole other story. Anyway, we're on the rebound here today on Valentine's Day for the SAS. That's right, that's mm. right. There might be things on the horizon anyway. Looking up, things are looking good. Things always look good. That's right. Hey, these are good, though. These are good. What kind of rating are you talking about? Maybe? I like them. I can't really knock anything down on them. Yeah. I just, you know, they're help, full thumbs up. It's Valentine's Day. I'm spreading the love. I like them. They're sweet. They're nice. They're M&M's. They got cherry, chocolate cherry slant going on. They're nice. Full thumbs up. I like them. I tend to think I'm going to agree with you. I was mm -hmm. thinking at first I might knock them down because I don't think I could eat tons of them. Yeah. But... That's After having another, you know, handful of them, I'm mm -hmm. like, yeah, I could have more of these. Yeah. Without a doubt. So, full thumbs up. They're dangerous. They're dangerous. Without a doubt. Ooh, they'd be good with, like, uh, vanilla ice cream. Mm-hmm. Oh, that would be badass. Or in a chocolate cupcake. Mm-hmm. You know? There's a lot of things you could do with these, and especially being they're so darn big, you only have to put a couple of them in. The yeah. flavor goes a long way on these. I think that's kind of what gets you as you're eating. You're like, whoa. They're kind of overwhelming. 
but they're overwhelming you with love on Thanksgiving Day. Thanksgiving. Oh, thank what about what they said then? Valentine's Day. <laughs> See how much they messed me up. They took me back three months. That's right. Oh, oh well. Anyway, we are giving thanks for these candies because they're mm. very, very good. So every day is Thanksgiving Day with these. There you go. Um, I dig them a lot, and you should probably check them out. Also, you should check out the SAS group on Facebook, and you can do that by clicking on the link down below in the description with hundreds of the coolest people in our group, mm. and you should be too. Also, follow us on those very, very important social media platforms, Twitter and Instagram, at Brandon Reich SAS and at Heal Will Mahoney. That's right, and you can take those ha handles at Brandon Reich SAS at Heal Will Mahoney, and you know what you need to do every time you post. Hashtag Snack Society all day, every day. Tell us what you're snacking on, find out what we're snacking on, and spread the word about the Snack Society all day over social media and when you do you join that four horsemen baby you like your favorite you share you subscribe in the meantime in between time we'll see you next time bye bye it's oh so sweet